ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನಾ ಭಯ ಚರನಾರಬಿಂದ ರೇ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಜಯ ಸ್ಪರಿಕಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಗುರಂಗ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಂಧಾರ್ವಿಕ ಗಿರಿ ಹರಿ ಜೋ ಕಿ ಜಾಯ ಜಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ ಮಾತ್ ಕಿ ಜಾಯ ಜಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸುಂದರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಾಯ ಜಾಯ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಕ್ಷಕ ಶ್ರೀರ ದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಾಯ ಜಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಕಿ ಜಾಯ ಜಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪ ನುಗ ಗುರು ಭಾರ್ಗ ಕಿ ಜಾಯ ಓಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಚಮನಂದಸ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶ್ಲೋಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರೋನ್ಮಿಂ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೆ ನಮಃ ಲಾಂಚಕೋಪತ್ರೀಪಸಿಂಧುಗೇವಿಥಾನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಟೇಪ್ ಅಬ series that we are calling uh, the acharya's dialogue a discussion with uh, the devotees of shri chaitanya saraswat mat um uh, regarding uh, mostly actually uh, mostly questions that i've received um in regards to the acharya's of shri chaitanya saraswat mat and uh Srila uh, Govinda Maharaj has uh, expressed desires regarding how the initiations uh, should continue and uh, who shall be Acharyas in different parts of the world and uh, this is a fairly this is a serious discussion but um, I thought today we would uh lighten the mood a little bit and I thought a good way to do that was to present some public service announcements. And uh we have one here advertising a uh festival in uh Ukraine. And this is this can be found on uh This video that we're doing today of course will be on our website uh, scsmotglobal.com and uh, we have several videos and uh, I've written many articles uh, discussing different points about the acharyas in our mission and Shri Gurudev's desire for um the sannyasis that he named as acharyas Ah, so this uh announcement uh, for those of you who are our our Russian friends uh, which I I think I have many and uh just as way by way of introduction I spent several years preaching in Russia and Ukraine and Belarus and I don't recall uh, probably forgetting some country but uh several cities there by uh the invitation of his holiness uh Shri Pad uh Avadut Maharaj at that time actually he was uh, Jagannath Vallabha Prabhu and uh uh I'm very uh, actually indebted to to him um when Govinda Maharaj came to the United States one of his first trips to the United States he spoke at a gathering of devotees celebrating uh I was it um celebrate I don't remember now either the uh, appearance day of Shri I think it was the appearance day of Shri Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj so there was a um, a festival and a, a gathering of, of devotees uh, held in Santa Cruz and uh California Santa Cruz California near 
the Sokal ashram there. And uh, Srila Govinda Maharaj was invited uh, to speak at this uh, gathering, which of course is predominant, well, it's a gathering primarily for the disciples of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. And uh, the invitation came from one of his very well-known disciples, um, Pushta Krishna Prabhu, previously uh, one of the sannyas disciples of Srila Prabhupada. And uh, we've been reading some of the, the correspondence of Srila Prabhupada lately and I'm finding many times that uh, Pushta Krishna Maharaj is uh, asking questions and making comments in the uh, company of Srila Prabhupada. Even Pushta Krishna Prabhu is a very um, was and is a very dedicated uh, servitor of His Divine Grace and uh, also uh, very um, became very much attached to the lotus feet of Srila Govinda Maharaj and uh, did much service uh, for Srila Govinda Maharaj and our, our mission. So, um, so Pushta Krishna invited uh, Srila Govinda Maharaj and uh, he was, Pushta Krishna was one of the organizers of this festival. And uh, so we went there and uh, Govinda Maharaj spoke uh, at length, uh, glorifying Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. Uh, and it was uh, very, uh, very, uh, very good experience for, for all of us, very nice. So, what Srila what Srila Govinda Maharaj said there, I, I remember, probably a lot of us remember, um, that uh, Srila Swami Maharaj, he uh, came to the west and he blasted a tunnel through the mountain of illusion and false ego of the western civilization. And Srila Govinda Maharaj said, and now very easily I have entered through that tunnel. <laughs> I have been in, enabled by the work that Srila Swami Maharaj did, Govinda Maharaj is saying he is now enabled to easily come to the United States and go to the, travel to the West and uh, visit uh, uh, the devotees uh, of uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and almost all of which uh, came from the preaching of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. So, um, my reason I'm mentioning this uh, is I was fortunate to have a similar experience with uh, uh, Jagannath Vallabha Prabhu when he invited me when he, uh, to go to Russia for preaching there. And uh, Jagannath Vallabha did uh, some really amazing work. When Srila Govinda Maharaj came here for his first visit in 1993 to our stay in our mott here in New Jersey and uh, we uh, arranged some preaching programs for him in New York City, in Manhattan and uh, uh, in Queens also. Uh, Jagannath Vallabha uh, uh, came to uh, one of those uh, programs and uh, was uh, very immediately persuaded that uh, he wanted Srila Govinda Maharaj as his guru. And uh, that, uh, as we left the program, uh, he wanted to know, uh, you know where Govinda Maharaj was staying, how he could get in touch with him, uh, uh, how he, he could get his uh, darshan association. And we were staying at the house of another devotee and, uh, and his wife, Jairam Prabhu, and Vidya Vadhu, and Devi. And uh, so uh, we stayed there and uh, Jagannath Vallabha, he was invited and another devotee also from Russia was there uh, later. Uh, he also took initiation. But um, Govinda Maharaj said at the time, um, actually I don't think he said it uh, in front of Jagannath Vallabha, but he said to me later, uh, that this, uh, I see some light in this man for preaching in Russia. And uh, uh, just uh, a, a, a remarkable thing, I didn't, 
I was kind of thinking, I have to say, uh, well, you know, maybe, okay. But Govinda Marge was actually very uh, convinced about the, the point. And I, I don't know what it was. Uh, I doubt that I could know. But Govinda Marge saw something in, uh, in him. And, uh, and he encouraged him. Jagannath Vallabha wanted to go to Russia and, uh, uh, and, uh, and preach. And uh, Govinda Marge uh, gave him all encouragement to do that. And he did that. He went there by himself. Uh, there were some other devotees that soon, um, actually almost uh, immediately, uh, helped him. Uh, or he helped them. Uh, they helped each other. Uh, I remember I, uh, Jagannath Balaba sent me a photo uh, of uh, uh, this uh, flat that they were he was staying in, and uh, uh, it was uh, had uh, many uh, people staying there, and seemed a little crowded and uncomfortable and so forth. Uh, but uh, this. Uh, never uh, troubled Jagannath Vallabha and uh, he was ready to go in any uh, place, any circumstance and uh, preach uh, the, the glories of uh, Srila Govinda Maharaj and Srila Bhakti Rakak Shiradev Goswami Maharaj. And also very interested and enthusiastic to immediately begin printing books of our mission. At that time uh, there Probably weren't any books of Srila Govinda Maharaj, but uh, Jagannath Vallabha uh, started printing parts of books, sections like booklets from uh, sections of Search for Sri Krishna and uh, Sri Guru and His Grace, and, and uh, immediately be, uh, began uh, uh, work on getting these books translated into Russian. So, uh, and he is, uh, uh, you know, a uh, wonderful uh, organizer and uh, a preacher of Krishna consciousness. And, uh, so single-handedly he went there and uh, did uh, uh, a miracle, uh, really an amazing, amazing thing. So um, he then wanted to invite Govinda Maharaj naturally to come to Russia and uh, Govinda Maharaj said, I think uh, an Acharya should not uh, go to a new country until he has at least six disciples there. So um, before Jagannath, before uh, Govinda Maharaj uh, went to Russia, he sent uh, Sripad Sagar Maharaj and uh, Jagannath Vallabha and, and Sagar Maharaj uh, arranged uh, immediately some big big programs, and immediately there were. Uh, many people took initiation from uh, Srila Govinda Maharaj with uh, Sripad Sagar Maharaj as, acting as his Ritvik. Uh, I think even the, the, one of the first festivals there, I think perhaps a hundred uh, people took initiation, or if not a hundred, something close to that. Maybe I don't have it right, but uh, uh, a, a remarkable number uh, of devotees. So. Um, my, uh, my visit to Russia um, uh, was arranged in the same way. Um, I, had, I didn't have to do anything to, no preparations. Jagannath Vallabha made all the arrangements. And uh, it was very uh, wonderful for me that from the very first, uh, I think um, uh, we first went to a festival that was being held in the Czech Republic kind of an all-Europe festival, Czech Republic, uh, somewhat central to Europe. So, uh, and this also arranged by, primarily by Jagannath Vallabha, also with help from uh, Sri Govinda Prabhu and Sri Leka and uh, devotees from London and uh, uh, other parts of uh, Europe. And it was a, uh, that was a wonderful festival also, an amazing thing. We're in the, in the country I'd never I hardly knew on uh, on the map, and uh, uh, and yet uh, uh, wonderful Vaishnava festival. Devotees from Europe and Russia and different uh, uh, from from the United States and many many places uh, 
of the world. And it was a wonderful experience. And actually it was at that time that um, I was talking with uh, Jagannath Vallabha and Srila Govinda Maharaj. Uh, uh, Govinda Maharaj told me, um, uh, make your home in Russia and you can visit New Jersey. So I haven't forgotten that. I, um, but that was, I guess he must have seen some light for me also <laughs> to preach in Russia. Or maybe he hoped that there, some light would come. So from that time, uh, so then from Czech Republic, uh, um, after that festival, we uh, spent one night in a, uh, a, ho a, youth, a youth hostel in, uh, or I think in Prague, um, and uh, with about a dozen or so devotees that were there from Russia with, uh, with Jagannath Vallabha. And uh, I, his father, Vijay Raman, he was uh, also there. And uh, I was... Uh, it wasn't the sort of, ac of accommodation that I was accustomed to, this hostel. Normally I'm uh, staying in uh, some, uh, you know, private, semi-private uh, room, a hotel room or something like that when traveling. And uh, uh, there, there's, this was not that, that sort of thing. Uh, we are, the, the, the room was a very large room, maybe uh, 10 meters by 10 meters or so with many beds in it, and uh, so facilities for you know, many people to sleep there. By, uh, by chance it happened that um, uh, there, were hardly any, there, there were hardly any other people staying in the hostel that night, so we had a whole room to ourselves, uh, but then also there, was no pri there were no private bath facilities either, and only uh, some giant uh, uh, bathroom, uh, like um, you would have in college or university, something like that, for the athletic team with a row of showers and uh, toilet stalls, etc., and so forth. Many sinks lined up one after the other, and uh, that also is a little uncomfortable for me. Normally, I'm, I'm, I'm bathing in private. I'm not accustomed to a public toilet, but especially not, uh, you know, for a dozen. 20 people at a time, but um, Jagannath Vallabha and his father immediately, uh, when it was time to bathe in the morning, they roped off the area and they closed the bathroom so that only I could use it. And uh, <laughs> I, I thought that was very bold and uh, it may inconvenience the other guests, the other residents, uh, but um, they assured me, no, no, it's no problem, Maharaj, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, so that was done. And uh, Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is, but the night before that, we got, we, we read, by the time we registered, it was 9 or 10 o'clock at night by the time we were in our room. And I was, you know, very tired from traveling and uh, all the activities from the, the festival in the Czech Republic, and, uh, but as soon as we got back, Jagannath Vallabha, his father, and the other devotees that were with us, unfortunately, I can't remember their names right now, but they immediately uh, got Murdunga and Kartals and were, uh, and asking me, so Maharaj, you will go with us for Harinam Sankirtan? <laughs> I'm thinking, what? You got to be kidding, right? This is a joke. <laughs> this is a wind up. What's, what? What do you mean? I'm exhausted, and they're like ready to go out for Harinam Sankirtan, and they did. And uh, so I excuse myself, no Prabhu's. Uh, uh, really, I'm not. I'm too tired for that. Uh, they went out and did. Uh, Harinam Sankirtan came back very enlivened. Uh, you know. I was, uh, I think I was trying to sleep, but of course when they come back, the whole energy of the room is, uh, you know, very enlivened from their kirtan. So, uh, from there, um, we flew uh, from Prague to uh, St. Petersburg, 
And uh, again, I was surprised by, we were met at the airport by a, a group of, a nice group of devotees, and they gave me some giant flower garland. The flowers were this, this big around, maybe bigger than that, and uh, bouquets of flowers, and uh, unbelievable reception. So, this was something that Srila Govinda Maharaj was also talking about at this program. Swami Maharaj told us about the reception that the devotees were giving him, his disciples were making for him when he would go, when he would arrive at the airports of San Francisco or Los Angeles or New York or any place in the, uh, the, the world. And devotees are bringing him flower garlands and they are throwing uh, flower petals at his feet and giving him uh, bouquets of flowers and, and uh, uh, in their uh, tears in their, in their eyes. And uh, Srila Govinda Maharaj said, when we heard these descriptions of Srila Swami Maharaj, we could hardly believe it. And uh, but when Govinda Maharaj himself came, to the United States and later to other parts of the world, uh, and he was greeted the same way. And uh, he was astonished by this. And uh, found it a very, very remarkable thing. And uh, could not help but note it all by the grace of. Srila Yishi Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. So, again, uh, this was my ex a similar experience. I am coming to Russia for the first time. I do not know uh, the devotees there. They do not know me. But somehow or other, by the grace of Jagannath Vallabha Prabhu, the preaching of uh, Sripad's Sagar Maharaj, and uh, the grace of Srila Govinda Maharaj. Uh, immediately, all facility was there for me. Uh, and uh, we also, uh, so then I, I did what now I think has uh, become pretty, a pretty standard thing, uh, traveling by train from one city to another, uh, first, uh, uh, the program began in St. Petersburg, uh, several days, a few days there with uh, Vijay Raman Prabhu and, and the devotees that uh, came to stay there with us. And also the devotees of Russia, mostly young people, so maybe a little easier for them than uh, someone more my age. But um, staying in tents, uh, you know, also very few bathroom facilities, uh, anything like that. Uh, the weather, it was not cold, but uh, it was not warm either. But they didn't care. They were ready to bathe outside, bathe in the, in the ocean, uh, which was just adjoining the property, and uh, uh, un unconcerned with uh, the things that actually I'm always concerned about. Will I be warm? Will I be comfortable? Do I have a private bath? Will I have a private bedroom? Do I have to share it with others? These sorts of things. Uh, uh, no concern for them. And no concern for Jagannath Vallabha, who is the leader of all of this. And to this day, I think it is still not a concern for Avadutta Maharaj. Um, his nature is like that. He's so... Um, Unconcerned for his personal comforts, uh, and his target always preaching, inspiring the devotees, and uh, mission the missionary work, arranging uh, for uh, the preaching of the precepts of our our mission. So. Uh, that I, I had the 
great honor of serving the devotees of Russia and uh, Ukraine and Belarus, visiting the homes of many persons in Russia for several years. I, I don't even recall how many years, maybe five or six years, I think, I uh, visited Russia like this. Um, after visiting uh, major cities and going uh, by train, usually overnight train, 10 or 12 hour uh, train journey to another city, spending uh, two or three uh, nights or, uh, in, the, in that city, then going on to another city and continuing like this in some circuit that uh, 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 Jagannath Vallabha and the devotees uh, arranged. Um, uh, one, uh, um, another person who was indispensable in this, uh, Bimal Kanti Prabhu, uh, still he's helping uh, Jagannath Vallabha, I'm sorry, Avadutta Maharaj, I, I think. And uh, he, would, uh, he was the advanced party and he would go ahead of us, uh, maybe two or three days ahead or one day, and pass out flyers and meet any, any contacts that we had in some city. He would, uh, uh, meaning any devotees that we knew there, he would uh, contact them and tried to make some arrangement for us to stay in the house of some devotee or to rent a house uh, for our, our use while we were there. And, uh, so, and uh, sometimes uh, uh, Jagannath Vallabha, he would also go with us, not always, but uh, sometimes when he had the time then he would uh, join us also. And that was very, um, <laughs> it was really, a wonderful experience for me. I think it was wonderful for everyone involved. It, it, uh, we had many uh, arguments and many uh, um, uh, you know, differences of opinion about uh, how something should be done or what should be done. Uh, these these things happen when you live in close quarters and you have to your. Uh, and <laughs> sometimes in my preaching I talk about um, the, an experiment that I heard done years ago, some, a scientific experiment uh, looking at population, how populations work. <coughs> and uh, uh, they uh, did this experiment with, uh, with mice or rats. And uh, they, um, uh, for the experiment, they wanted to see what is the difference between, uh, I, think that, I think it was done with rats, uh, what, is the, what is the difference when they have a lot of room and like private nesting facilities where they can have their families and so forth, and what happens when that is decreased and decreased and decreased as their, the population is, uh, becomes more and more dense, the area becomes smaller and the numbers become bigger, so the, uh, everything becomes very crowded. And what they find is abnormal behavior immediately is exhibited by these animals, by these rats. Where they got along fine with each other, where there was lots of space, they began fighting with each other when they were in very close quarters. And then, uh, <laughs> I don't want to actually talk about it, but perversion perverted sexual activity began to occur also. <laughs> and uh, isn't it interesting that um, the human society shows the same tendencies? So when, they, uh, uh, when we're uh, confined to small spaces with large numbers of people, then uh, uh, tempers uh, uh, become easily uh, excited. Um, uh, everything becomes more intense, but you know the kirtan also becomes more intense, and uh, the, uh, uh, the service becomes more intense. The intensity of the service becomes more intense, but in that intense environment, then there's also a tendency for that uh, everyone is under a microscope, so small infractions of giving respect to someone are interpreted as outlandish uh, behavior that uh, 
needs to be corrected. That that devotee can't talk to me like that, Maharaj. You make sure that that that's ended, you know, and things like this. So, so we. But it was very. Um, memorable experience and a very wonderful experience for me and an experience that you know I will not forget and I hope <laughs> that uh, to duplicate again actually uh, uh, naturally when you see something wonderful and when you have some wonderful experience you want to reproduce that and uh, the um, I got the, the the chance I was I was forced to uh, also um, because I was constantly having to preach, um, uh, meet new people, and uh, look after uh, the the needs, approach you know in different ways for solutions to problems from different devotees. Um, uh, then my uh, I had to uh, uh, look at um, our uh, teachings, examine our teachings. Uh, our books, uh, the uh, instructions of our our gurus like Srila Sridhar Maharaj, Govinda Maharaj, Swami Maharaj, uh, and uh, examine them from different points of view. Oh, this devotee is saying something, this devotee is saying another thing, I'm asked to you know, give a judgment which is correct or something like that. So I have to think seriously. Questions are coming, uh, you know, Maharaj this, Maharaj that. Uh, I've heard this, I've heard something else, uh, many, uh, you know, challenges, uh, um, you know, there are other uh, spiritual organizations like ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, why are you not with them, uh, are you the same, are you different, uh, uh, you're a disciple of uh, Srila Swami Maharaj, how is it you could take sannyas from uh, someone in another sampradaya, not a not really a, a, another sampradaya, but I would be in another sampradaya. I'm taking sannyas from the god brother of my guru, uh, so that puts me in a different category from those who are uh, strictly uh, uh, disciples of uh, my guru, uh, Srila Swami Maharaj. And so, so many questions and challenges and debates and uh, different things occurred, but all of these things. Uh, Good for everyone. Good for the questioner. Good for the question who has to answer the question, because it makes uh, makes us all think about things with uh, uh, more um, intently. What I knew, it is uh, now being challenged: thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. My thesis, what I I. I uh, went to Russia with one idea, now some of those ideas are being challenged. I enter someone's house with one idea, we have a, a program, and then challenge uh, uh, questions. And I love the questions, and the devotees of Russia have their, seem to have some uh, intellectual uh, proclivity, a tendency, and uh, they also have already uh, prepared with some um, knowledge of uh, the uh, text of India, the Vedas, uh, different Vedas, not always uh, the standard uh, fare that we're accustomed to, Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, but other things, uh, the Manu Sanghita and uh, uh, things about astrology and so a whole variety of things. And so very quickly uh, we were introduced to a comparative study of Vedic knowledge. <laughs> Different Vedic scriptures. Uh, what do you? What, this is said in the Manu Sanghita Maharaj. What do? You, how do? What do you think about that? It's correct or not? And so many things like this. So uh, very nice, very very uh, very good. And uh, and I'm happy to say, still I'm getting questions from the Russian uh, devotees, uh, and still many similar things, challenges. Debates, arguments, discussions, uh, with uh, in different different forms, and still I have my disagreements with Avaduta Maharaj. <laughs> I, we can hardly uh, say hello to each other. That uh, one of us doesn't ask, "Why are you saying that?" 
<laughs> what did you mean by that? <laughs> but uh, on, a, on a deeper level, um, <laughs> I, I, that's very difficult for me to even talk about this. On a deeper level, I think uh, Avadutta Maharaj will never understand cannot possibly understand He cannot understand how deeply grateful I am for this, uh, these opportunities uh, that he provided for me for preaching in uh, the previous uh, countries of the Soviet Union. So when Srila Govinda Maharaj, when I learned that Srila Govinda Maharaj had named six acharyas and that he had uh, designated uh, a specific preaching field for each of the acharyas and that he had designated for Avadutta Maharaj, Russia, that was no surprise, <laughs> not at all. Why would it be? Avadutta Maharaj made uh, Russia the one of the um, many homes for Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, for Srila Govinda Maharaj and his devotees outside of India. And in a, a way, when I think about his work, I can only think of what Srila Sridhar Maharaj said about Srila Swami Maharaj. That this work that uh, Swami Maharaj did could only be done by a Shaktivesh avatar of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. So I'm not about to equate the Srila Prabhupada with Avadutta Maharaj. Others may do that. I think I would not, uh, if in the future Avadutta Maharaj has any disciples and they want to make such an um, analogy, I think it would be perfectly appropriate. So, I'm uh, like a god brother of Avadutta Maharaj, and it is not uh, so easy for me to see uh, the sort of uh, that, that vision that I can see for my Guru Dev, Srila Swami Maharaj. But at the same time, uh, I cannot ignore the magnificent uh, work and contribution that Avadutta Maharaj has made to our mission and to the uh, uh, preaching of Mahaprabhu's precepts. And not only in Russia, Russia, and, and as I say, the, I don't know, there must be some easier way to say this, but the, the countries that were previously the Soviet Union, now, now um, anyway, I, I don't know what their you know, if there's some easy way, because now there are many countries. It used to be one thing. They were the Soviet Union. Now there are many things, many different countries. But in those countries, Avadutta Maharaj um, introduced uh, our mission, Govinda Maharaj, uh, many, many uh, uh, 
people took initiation from Srila Govinda Maharaj and became his disciples. And uh, in New York, of course, when uh, Avadutta Maharaj was first here in New York, he did the same thing in New York. And when Govinda Maharaj came for his second trip, um, uh, I, I was just uh, surprised how many uh, uh, people I, that I had not met, but that uh, maybe, actually maybe I'd met them. I was Avadutta Maharaj, then Jagannath Vallabha, had an apartment in New York City in Manhattan, and he would regularly invite me there for preaching programs, and uh, always the, you know, his apartment was always full of interested people. And uh, when uh, Govinda Maharaj came, then many of those people took initiation from Srila Govinda Maharaj, became his disciples. <coughs> so, um, such a so not only, my point, not only he's uh, preaching in Russia, he's preaching many places in the world. Now he's thinking of China and uh, Korea, uh, places like this. And I'm sure he'll be successful with his preaching in these places, just as he's been successful in uh, uh, all the other places. Uh, wherever he goes, he is successful. Govinda Maharaj says, where, when uh, Avadutta Maharaj uh, begins dancing, the whole world dances with him. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Uh, we are looking, we are watching a, a, a videotape where Avadutta Maharaj is on a stage leading Kirtan and he's dancing. And people in the audience, they're also dancing and uh, devotees on the stage dancing with him. <clears throat> so it came as no surprise to me when uh, Govinda, when I heard that Govinda Maharaj had named six Acharyas and that uh, Avadutta Maharaj would be one of those Acharyas, then that his preaching field would be Russia, that he would be the Acharya of Russia, of course, of course he would be. <laughs> Why not? What, what, on, what else could it be? Uh, just, <laughs> there there could be no other choice. So, um, some years before that, uh, some of the sannyasis, I think uh, Bharati Maharaj and uh, Avadutta Maharaj, uh, maybe Madhav Maharaj, I'm not sure, but I, and Goswami Maharaj, uh, we're having a discussion with um, Srila Govinda Maharaj, and then Avadutta Maharaj wanted to know, he had a question of Govinda Maharaj, Maharaj, I'm, uh, after your disappearance, I'm uh, thinking it, uh, it will be good if Goswami Maharaj um, uh, will be the, uh, you know, the Acharya for Russia. Govinda Maharaj did not like that idea in the least. No. And Govinda Maharaj said what I just said. Obvious. No. That is your place. You made it. You will be the Acharya there. You, Avadutta Maharaj, you created this preaching field. You will be the Acharya there. Obviously. Of course. So, then you can all imagine my surprise when Goswami Maharaj, some years later, introduced the idea, right immediately after Govinda Maharaj's disappearance, and Goswami Maharaj uh, began to uh, uh, introduce the idea that, of course, everyone will defer to Acharya Maharaj. Goswami Maharaj was there in the room when he heard what Govinda Maharaj said to Avadutta Maharaj. And he said very clearly, Avadutta Maharaj, you are the Acharya of Russia. And in Guru Dev's will, which I take as the primary uh, uh, document, 
and the real, the only real evidence, the only real proof, because it's what is called direct evidence, direct proof, it's not some, uh, 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 you know, speculation, interpretation, hearsay, or anything of that nature. This is, the, the Gurudev's will is the direct evidence, the direct proof of what Gurudev wanted. And what Gurudev said in his will is that Avadut, I, will, I would like to see Avaduta Maharaj as the Acharya of Russia. He did not say, and Acharya Maharaj, and Goswami Maharaj, etc. He didn't add any names. He didn't say uh, anyone else should be the Acharya of Russia. He said Avaduta Maharaj will be the Acharya of Russia. And many times now, over this last year and a half, I have made this exact point to Sri Bhavadutta Maharaj. I told him, Govinda Maharaj did not name any other Acharya for Russia. He named you. You be the Acharya of Russia. He is, you know, reluctant to do that. I understand. Yes, I understand. He is shy, <laughs> yes, Avaduta Maharaj, who has no shyness with anyone, is shy about this. And that's, uh, that's, that's also Avaduta Maharaj. He has some humility. So very good. So he is thinking, he is not qualified for the task. I understand that, of course. So he is very reluctant, Avaduta Maharaj is very reluctant to accept the order. It is an order, it is not a suggestion. It is the order of his guru, Srila Govinda Maharaj, that I want you, Avaduta Maharaj, to be the Acharya of Russia. So out of humility, thinking himself unqualified, thinking others more qualified, thinking others are better suited, etc., etc., um, I under, understand his position on that. I understand that sort of thinking. But there is another, there is a better thinking, in my opinion, a higher thinking, and that is my guru has given me an order to do something. I don't feel qualified, but the order is there, then his backing is also there. And this is the very point that Srila Saraswati Thakur made when he discussed how uh, he had come to accept the position of Guru and Acharya. Amar Agai Guru Honatara Edesh it is the order. Mahaprabhu has given the order. You become guru. Now, your guru, Srila Govinda Maharaj, has given you the order, Avaduta Maharaj. Become guru. Be the guru. Be the acharya of Russia. He made, Gurudev gave you everything. He told the devotees of Russia to uh, follow you, accept you as the Acharya. As he uh, said directly or implied about the devotees of, in all the areas where all, he wanted all the Acharyas to take their position as Acharya. So, I, you know, don't know, I can say this in different ways. I've said it in many emails directly to uh, Sri Paravaduta Maharaj. And uh, I am, the, the, it is crystal clear with me that this is what Govinda Maharaj wants. He does not want some other man uh, uh, becoming the, uh, the, 
to uh, in, initiate where Avadutta Maharaj has done all the, the work. Now, <laughs> oddly enough, I, my idea when I began this uh, today's video, discussion of the Acharyas in our mission, uh, I was going to say something very much different than this. In some ways almost the opposite, but not really. And I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. Uh, Prabhu, how much time is remaining? Eleven? Oh, really? Oh, good. Well, we have a, eleven minutes left. So this has become actually a video to Avaduta Maharaj. Maharaj, do it! <laughs> you will have the support. You have the support of the devotees of Russia. You have the support. You have my support for whatever that's worth to you. You have Guru Dev's full backing and support. Be the Acharya of Russia. Be the Guru. You can do it. You think you cannot do it? Guru Dev will give you everything. How have you done what you've done so far? If not by the grace of Govinda Maharaj. So he has given the order. Already you're a preacher. You've taken sannyas. Everything, you're ready. Everything is ready for you. <laughs> Just like you made everything ready for me. The devotees, I know that they're waiting. They, you know, when is Avadutta Maharaj going to accept this responsibility? When will we be able to put his photo on our altars as the Acharya of Russia? When will we see him in, a, in the disciplic succession after Srila Siddhar Maharaj, after Govinda Maharaj, there is Avaduta Maharaj. going to say, um, I can say only now as, um, as a joke. It was going to be it's sort of a joke anyway, but a little serious. Maharaj, um, <laughs> my I was going to begin this by thanking you, thanking Avaduta Maharaj for inviting me to Russia to preach in Russia. Again, I am making plans to do that. But uh, really, <laughs> and what and what after what I just said. How is that justified? How could I possibly justify that I will be going to Russia to preach in the zone of Avaduta Maharaj? Well, it's very easy because Avaduta Maharaj has given me every justification imaginable. He's giving his zone away to so many others. Well, if you're, giving, if you're going to give your zone away, if you're going to give your preaching field away, then I'm going to come and take a part of it. How about that? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't Bharti Marj and Madhav Marj do the same thing? If you're going to invite Acharya Marj and Goswami Marj to come there and take your, what you've done and make it theirs, if you're going to open it up like that, everyone, it's, it's a free-for-all. Whatever Gurudev said, we throw that to the wind. It's now, as I've heard from some of the, your representatives, that it's a free-for-all. It's all subjective. Well, Guru Dev said many things, so we don't have to follow Guru Dev's will. That's irrelevant. That's some legal matter. That's law. We're above the law. We see everything from sub the plane of subjective reality, which is above the law. 
and the will that Gurudev gave naming you, Avaduta Maharaj, as his successor, as his successor Acharya for Russia, oh, that's just subjective. It doesn't mean what it says. Gurudev, does, it doesn't mean what it says. It means many other things. Okay. Then I, have the, then I can also see it in a subjective way. And my, the way I see it subjectively is, you are giving, you are, uh, giving away everything to others. It's a, uh, what do you call it? a fire sale, right? After, after a fire, then uh, whatever's left that isn't burned, then is sold very cheaply. Anyone, anyone with a, a small amount of money can come and, and get the, uh, buy the furniture, the television, the appliances, the stove, refrigerator, whatever. Very, you know, very small money. That's called a fire sale. Well, that's what you're doing, Maharaj. You're burning down your house, and everyone is going to come and pick over the remains, including me. But it's not my first choice. But I'm not foolish. So when you say there's no law, then, then I'm living in a, in, a, in a country where there's no law, then I would be foolish to follow the law. Everyone will be foolish to do that. When every... When, when, Everything is subjective. Everything is open to interpretation. Uh, in the past, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, like I was saying in my Pied Piper article about Goswami Maharaj, Goswami, why do I write that paper? Because Goswami Maharaj is telling me, Maharaj, uh, don't, you have to consider not just the will, but you have to consider the past 30 years of instructions that uh, we've received and the circumstances and the history. So what is the history about Goswami Maharaj? Well, it isn't only that Goswami Maharaj, that, uh, that Srila Siddhar Maharaj acknowledged that uh, he could accept disciples, or that Srila Govinda Maharaj made some similar acknowledgement, or this or that. No, there are many other things in the history. So if you want to introduce that history, then I have many other things that can be introduced. And we'll talk about all of them, because that's what this discussion is for. And you are inviting it. This discussion was unnecessary. But you and the International Acharya Board, you will not have this discussion with me privately, so we're having it publicly. And you will not use any rational thought. Everything is, oh, let's make the rule up as we go along. Today we, we have one eye. Today, uh, uh, Gurudev leaves the planet, and he says, uh, Avaduta Maharaj will be the Acharya of Russia. And ten days later, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, Acharya Maharaj will be the Acharya of Russia. And one year after that, no, not Acharya Maharaj, Goswami Maharaj will be the Acharya of Russia. We'll just keep, the, the rules will just keep changing and changing. Then that means there is no rule. There's no standard. There's no locus standi. There's no central point. Everything is uh, scattered. Everything is peripheral. Everything is whatever anyone wants to make it. Well, when you say that, that there's no law, that it's all subjective, and you, can, and you have as much a right to decide who will be the Acharya of Russia as Gurudev has, he said it will be you, and you say, no, I select someone else. Well, then everyone else will make the same selection, and Bharati Maharaj and Madhav Maharaj, they have, will have just as much right as me or anyone else to come there and say, in our subjective opinion, uh, we are sannyasi disciples of uh, Govinda Maharaj, Bharti Maharaj, Madhav Maharaj, they're wholesale disciples of Srila Govinda Maharaj. Sannyasi can initiate. Sannyasi, is, one of his duties is to initiate disciples. So they will also initiate. So when you hold your festivals, like... I was about to talk about here, like the one you're going to have in Kiev on 29th of uh, July, uh, where uh, you are announcing that uh, 
uh, Sripad uh, uh, Goswami Maharaj uh, will come to initiate, well then you're inviting Bharti Maharaj, myself, Madhav Maharaj, any other sannyasi, anyone who wants to take sannyas, any disciple of Guru Dev, what, what will be the restriction? Then it's open to everyone, a fair field, open field for everyone. And actually I know Maharaj, Avadutta Maharaj, that actually you're kind of like that. You sort of see things like that. And uh, you may have no objection to any of this, but you should, in my opinion. All right, we're, that's the end of our time, so I'll have to stop there. Uh, but please don't do this, Maharaj. Please take it. Gurudev gave it to you. It's your inheritance. Please accept it. It's his gift to you. He wants you to have it. But if you don't want it, then be sure others will come and take it. Dandavats. Jai Saparikar, Shri Shri Guru Garanga, Shri Shri Gandharvika, Giri Hari Ju Ki Jai. Jai. Tai Gaur Premanande, Hari Bol, Gaur Hari Bol, Hare Krishna.